Hey guys, welcome back to Darkside Diesel. So today we're going to be going over our customer's truck, Joe. It's an 04 and a half Ram 2500, the 59, and we did some upgrades on it. So we have a diesel power source, third gen manifold. It's a pulse manifold, and it's a two piece design to keep from cracking during expansion and heat. So the problem was with the factory one is the manifold actually started cracking around the turbo flange and leaking. And it's very common with the stock setup because they don't have any, they're not a two piece design, they're a single piece. So they split when they heat and contract. And when you start putting tunes on them, they run a little bit hotter and the heat causes that to happen. So we're tech, we're gonna be doing a review on DPS's manifold. So previously on Joe's truck on the dyno, we made 460 horse. And we are gonna see if the manifold actually helps bring any power up. Joe has noticed a drop in EGT since we put the manifold on. And we did do a CX racing intake horn at the same time. So we might get a little bit of better flow out of that. And I don't think it'll affect the numbers greatly, but the manifold should help quite a bit. DPS claims that, you know, it flows as good as a second gen swap and cools just as good. So we are going to find out, but Joe definitely says there has been a reduced EGT is a couple hundred degrees and we are excited to test it and put it on the YouTube for everyone to find out. But so, and then Joe runs one of our dike side diesel tunes and he drag races and has built trans from us. So the truck will hold up and we'll just, we have the identical tune that it had originally when we put down 460. So we'll just see today if it creates any more power and quicker spool up. So we hope so. So stay tuned. <laughs> guys so we did the dyno pull with the new manifold from diesel power source and the CX racing intake horn and we have so originally the tune made 462.6 horsepower and 1047.1 foot-pounds we are at 487.7 horsepower and 1055.6 foot-pounds so we have a pretty good gain with the lower EGTs on the exact same tune. And this is a 04 and a half, 59. So we'll post this for you guys to watch a video, check out the DPS manifold, and hopefully this will help you out make a decision. You can run performance manifold if yours cracks or earlier than that when it doesn't crack and get better flow, lower EGTs, and a little gain in horsepower and turbo response. So thanks for watching you guys.